So here's our first bar. It's a very straightforward umpa umpa on a C chord if you've got a C G instrument or a G chord if you have a G D. And so it's button number one, finger four on its own, that's your um, and buttons three and four, fingers two and one, and that's your pa. And do that twice. The right hand side is this. Simply button six, button seven, six, seven. Perfectly in time with your bass. Very straightforward, counted one, two, three, four. And then in bar two, the bass is the same. The right hand side simply works up button six, button seven, button eight. And when you reach button eight with finger three, you hold it for two beats. So the first two bars. Now, bar three is a little bit more intricate and it sounds like this. On the left hand side, you've got a G7 chord if you have a C, G, D7 if you have a G, D, and it's button number one again, but on the pull. We know that because of this minus sign in the cell next to the four. And then we have buttons three and four on the pull. So it's the same exactly as the first two bars, but on the pull. That takes care of one, two, and. Then on beat three, you play the same bass that you played in the first two bars, but all together, no one part. Buttons one, three, and four together on the push, and then the same thing on the pull on beat four. So you go quite a quick change. So the bass line for bar three. The right hand side, you have button number seven. This is all on the main row, by the way. Finger two pull, held for two beats, well actually one and a half beats. It's actually a dotted crotchet because you come in on the and counter two with button eight, finger three on the pull. There's a little line here to the right of the um, cell, just reminding you that this is a quaver. And then you come back to button seven, push and then pull. So that bar right hand side sounds like this. So it's one, two and three, four. Put that to the left hand side. 